very cute boy. That's obviously not referring to you. <laughs> He's making up while you're still here. Hey. Hand delivered. Hard from the shop. Oh, how did you pay for it? Well, not that kind of heart. <laughs> 20 years old, eh? Can't believe it. Oh, thanks, Mum. Oh! Since when did you start getting all cuddly? And what did you get? A usual bag of crisps? Huh. I liquidated some assets yesterday. I'm buying another car that she's had her eye on. Oh, bully for you. Time's restaurant booked? Six. Kids won't get overtired then. <laughs> you seem to have released the inner social worker in him. Did uh, she settle at Millie's? They were opening a dolly hospital when I left. <laughs> I'll drop Arthur at Oscar's in a bit. It's nice that they've got little friends to go to, isn't it? Yeah. I'll do tea. Oh, lovely. Hello. You're out, Laurel? Oh, yeah, two ticks, Jenny. How's you, Doug? Under Layla's thumb. Yeah, <laughs> too right. Hey, say hello to Sally when you speak to her. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Hi. Oh. Laurel, um, don't ring Sally too early. Might aggravate Vincent. Mm. Have a good day. Yeah, and you. Mm. Right. Are you people talk. I've heard your friends gone home. Yeah. Complicated, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Doug said to come in. Yes! Yeah. his signature. Oh, thanks, Jamie. Lovely. Brilliant. Mm. How are you? Yep, fine, Tart. You? Great, yeah. Complicated. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Morning, Matt. <laughs> nice outfit. Says you, died and made you undertaker. I've got an appointment. Yeah, well, I've got Debbie's due, and I've got to go out straight after work. I don't have time to make myself look fabulous after clocking off, so... You know, so I, I might drop in for a drink later. I hate to tell you now, if Kane's paying, I'm going to have six course and grow up work, just me. Oh, moth balls. What? Oh, no, 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 it's, it's me, I'm, you know... Uh, oh, taking my suit for a run out in the park. Oh. I've got an appointment with a solicitor. Hmm? Hey, listen, make sure you get custody of this house. That. All right, hold it there. So is it right then? Your mum and your bird are getting all pally. <laughs> Haven't you got a driving instructor to annoy? Yeah, she'll be here any minute. Don't know why I'm bothering. The test is already in the bag. <laughs> Dude, you know as much about driving as you do about women. Ah, uh, do you see me arguing? And I'm telling you something. It's bad enough having one of them running your life, but two. <laughs> yeah, rather two than none. Hey, Casanova. Oi, I do all right, me. <laughs> hey, up, here she is. Try not to run anyone over, eh? Mm. Hey, up. Fancy a lift? In that. Us <laughs> girls are having shampoos at Debbie's first. Yeah, except Muggins here has to get the kids ready. Mm -hmm. My dad can dress himself for a change. Yeah. I like shampoos. Oh, sorry, family do. Yeah, well, we all hate each other, love. Hmm, some more than others. Normal family do, then. Yeah. Laurel, I'm headed off for lunch now. OK. Uh, the office should be quiet. They're out seeing clients today. Mm -hmm. Crack open the booze. Still no word from your friend, then? Is that who you try to get rid of? Oh, you have got a way with words, haven't you? Listen, I've had a bath and all, so shall we smooch or what? <laughs> Run it like the wind. I'd have a do with you. Priscilla better be afraid your husband might come after me, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, we've got a new baby in the house, so we've got a lot of spillover stuff we need to store. You know how it is. Tomorrow, then? Yeah, yeah, OK. Bye. <laughs> Gotta hand it to Kane. It's costing him £7 a week to store £2 million. You don't even know that the money's there. Oh, text from Chaz. Uh, going straight to Debbie's party after work. Kane's bought her a car. All right. I get it. But what are you going to do about it? Any crumbs, mind, and you for it, you two. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a bit early. Hello, are you not my daughter? <laughs> You know, these are really good. Sarah's are rubbish, strictly behind the back. <laughs> but these are great. 
Where does he get it from? Well, Michael was quite arty. So it's not in the jeans, then? Shh! Keep it down! That's news I've yet to break to him, and I never will if I can avoid it. Imagine being told Chris T it was your dad. Mm. A nightmare on four wheels, or a rat like Michael. No wonder your kids are so damaged. Well, you did all right. See, Andy sent you a card. Yeah. It got pretty nasty at first, but since then we both tried to be civilised. Nearly killed him when I got custody. You all right? How did you get to be so sensible and mature without being wet? You think I've done all right, then? Yeah. How are you divvying up the swag, then? Don't. I could be homeless. Mm. Has she offered you a deal? No. Well, get in there first and make it reasonable. Has she got money? Or a pension? <laughs> a copper without a pension. Well, maybe she'll let you stay in the house. If you agree not to go after her income. I mean, there's got to be some ways of keeping it clean. Have you done this before, or what? I've learnt my lessons. How come you're not better interested like him? So damn reasonable. <laughs> Sack your solicitor. Speak to her yourself. Now, I've just saved you a few grand, so you owe me. <laughs> All previous convictions of a father are now spent, because that is great. Oh, it actually smiles. Bit of a busman's holiday present, innit? Is it such a phrase? Because I've never heard of that. Well, maybe you should have gone to school. Well, I was too busy making millions. You should know that. I know that you're a conceited so-and-so. Sorry, whose day is this? Happy birthday, Debbie. Thank you, Carl. Amazing you've got this far with those two as parents. Drop dead! Oi! Today is all about Debbie. Isn't it, Charity? Hello, Vincent. Is Sally around? No. It's just that I've been trying to call her, so... So she's convinced you as well. Should we, uh, start by digging up the patio? <laughs> we can see if she's there.